So far it checks out. The earthquake did move the Amanda Lockridge on the ocean floor. Which made the ship more accessible. Right. So it looks as if Lionel's really going to be able to bring stuff up from it. Including the captain's log and all the other documents and information? Maybe, if uh, it was preserved somehow. Well, to me it was. Assuming that in that information there's certain incriminating evidence in the captain's log. You mean incriminating evidence that would prove the capital sunk the ship? Yeah. What do you think Lionel Lockridge would do with that information? Oh, I think he'd use it against your family any way he could. I think he'd be absolutely merciless. What's up? They simply summoned up the devil just by speaking about it. I'm gonna go talk to him. Save that for a second, will you? I don't have much time. I'd like to finish my report. Well, where's the pragmatist, Cruz? Go ahead. Lionel didn't make up that bit about the priceless cargo. There is a ship's manifest, and it does indeed list the paintings he mentioned, plus several other assorted treasures. So conceivably, the Lockridges could fall into a vast amount of money in a very short period of time. Maybe that would satiate them. They wouldn't feel like they needed to, to slander the Capwell name. I doubt it. There's no reason they can't have all that wealth and fame. Revenge, too. It really hurt them to give up the beachfront property to your family. They're never going to forgive you for that. So that's the bad news. Any good news? End of report. Well, now that I have all this information, what am I supposed to do with it? I don't know. I'm sure to think of something. I gotta Cruz, go. What am I supposed to do? Look, I gave you the facts. I can't give you advice, Eden. I guess not. I guess I can't count on you any more than I could in the past. Maybe I thought it would be different. That's a lie. No. Mind if I join you? Of course not. Thank you. That sweater looks more beautiful on you every time I see it. I don't want to talk about that. What would you like to talk about? Don't underestimate me. I don't, Eden. I am not about to let you slander my family name in newspapers, in television, in magazines all over the world. No. I'm not trying to slander your family. Well, that sure isn't the way you've been talking. Look, the log from the Amanda Lockridge, when it's brought up, if it's brought up, is open to public scrutiny. Any information in there is going to be public now. Some people say you're evil. An incarnation of the devil. <laughs> Sometimes I think so myself. Even Sophia thought that way sometimes. Why do you always have to bring up her name, no matter what it is? I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend you by doing It's just that you remind me. So why don't you just tell me? Why don't you just tell me all the things that remind you of my mother? You don't want to know about that, do you? Yes, I do. Sophia was the most fascinating woman I've ever known in my life. She was a study in us. Strong, self-contained, yet vulnerable. Sophisticated, yet oh so natural. She was complicated, and yet at times could be utterly childlike. Mysterious. And yet she had a vast curiosity about the world. She was so lovely that sometimes I ached just looking at her. She was the most eminently exquisite, lovable person. And you are exactly like her. You must have loved her very much. Did my father know about this? Did he know you knew her? No. You must have been devastated when she died in the accident.